Howdy folks, welcome to Weed and Whiskey News. I'm your plain talking, straight shooting host, J-Man, and I'm super jazzed to have the CEO of Hello Mood, Mr. David Charles, in the studio. Forbes Magazine said David and his team at Hello Mood have built a $100 million company in a matter of months by offering legal weed online to America. Their witty commercials help destigmatize the plant we enjoy so much. No two grams today, so we can spend all of our time with David. We'll be right back after a quick message from our great sponsors. Howdy, 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 folks. Welcome to Weed and Whiskey News. I'm your host, J-Man. I got a bunch of stocks, pot stocks, regular stocks. They've been all suffering. But in fact, it was them making marijuana illegal that created the crime. <laughs> it is a safer, often more effective, and far fewer side effects treatment option. Pothead, he is also a co-star in there. You'll see him all the time, every time. <laughs> he brought me my breakfast this morning. It was a Delta 9, 420 milligram pumpkin spice rice crispy, rice crispy treat. I am not from this world, but this guitar is. You will be able to win this guitar for Christmas. This man has a buzz for himself and for four of his friends. He also has a five left out of a 10. Five gummies, five bucks. That's Buck a Buzz. Ask for him at a store near you. Buck a Buzz. Visit buckabuzz.com. We're Mango. We make health products to make your sex life better. We're not gonna show you a bunch of penis shaped produce and talk in thinly veiled metaphors. On the contrary, we're gonna be explicit. Fact, you could be having better sex. We want that for you. We know someone else who does too. Bear with us. Just like Mango, we're gonna have to work quickly. <sighs> having trouble pitching a tent? Well, stop sleeping in the cold and make your ankle spanker a shoulder boulder. We'll set your Johnson from a dejected five o'clock to a stiff midnight. One of the most important elements of sex is timing. Mango is fast acting. It dissolves under your tongue and activates in as little as 10 minutes. So you can pick when you get bricked. Traditional pills, they take up to an hour to take effect. An hour? Nobody wants to schedule sex. It is not a cable appointment. Don't miss the moment. Take the 10 minute express train to Pound Town. It's the 21st century. Boner pills are mobile now. Unlike the result, mango is easy to tuck away. This isn't your dad's dick pill. It isn't a pill at all. It's sublingual, meaning it activates from the tongue. Like a lot of things. Mango's affordable, so it'll keep your wallet thick too. Oxytocin's nickname is the love hormone, and it helps you and your partner bond more deeply. We kicked a little bit of that in there just for you. Cheers, mate. And for dessert, it actually tastes like mango. While we like telling the world about our business, you might not. We have an armada of licensed physicians ready to give your bottle rocket the all systems go. Better sex, discreetly shipped right to your doorstep. What more could you ask for? We're talking about erections on demand. Make every day hump day. Visit MangoRx.com and get ready to be fruitful. My next guest spent four years wandering the deserts of entrepreneurial purgatory. Then he found his way to success in the telehealth and health tech sector. In April of 2022, he became the CEO of Hello Mood and now has 150 employees at his $100 million company that sells legal THC products online. David Charles, welcome to Weed & Whiskey News. Thanks for having me, Jay, man. You got it, man. And thank you, David. Let me start this off by saying you almost single-handedly have 
made everyone aware in America legally you can buy weed now through your witty commercials that I mentioned. They're uh, they're a lot of fun and it's a team effort. Yeah, we'll uh, make sure and plug a couple of those in for people to be able to see. Uh, Tell us what got you down this path from telehealth. Um, Well, I had just taken the job as a COO at a health tech company and I was really excited about it. Um, And then I was catching up with with an old co-founder and uh, he said, hey, man, you know, I've been working up in, up in Canada, where he's from, in cannabis, and there's a ton of opportunity to take this to the United States, run the same playbook that we both understand, performance marketing, um, and we can really disrupt something. I said, ah, you're, you're crazy. That Delta stuff, it's at gas stations, it's at vape shops. There's nothing there. He said, no, there really is. You know, take a look. And, and so we, we went through an exercise over a period of weeks, and we we're looking at the competition, looking at market size, looking at what are folks selling, you know, where are the opportunities? And it was, you know, the hits just kept coming. We just kept seeing opportunity after opportunity after opportunity. Um, so I had to, uh, I had to respectfully tender my my resignation after like two weeks on the job as COO, and uh, you know, once more under the breach into into e-commerce. Yeah, and and this is a, a year and a half, maybe. Uh, well, we're coming up. It'll be two years uh, in in four months. So yeah, in less than two years' time, Forbes said hundred million dollars a year in revenue. That's our, we're actually above that run rate right now. Yeah, and, and I it, think uh, uh, maybe, uh, maybe I heard a little mouse say something about you got more than 150 employees, too. We do, yeah. We're, we're up to, uh, close, closer to around 200 yeah. right now. That's yeah. got to feel good giving people jobs, man. Oh, it feels amazing. Yeah. You know, we give jobs. We have amazing health insurance. We have better health insurance for our, our people than, you know, most Fortune 500 companies have for their executives. Like, yeah. We have, you know, zero deductible plans and, you know, we pay above market wages. Most of your, most of your staff is up in Oklahoma, I think. We've got about 100 folks in Oklahoma City. Um, and then we've got everybody else is remote, uh, mostly in the United States. So were you ever thinking that, hey, at some point in my life, I'm going to be a legal weed dealer? <laughs> well, you know, I may or may not have been involved in, in cannabis in my younger years. Yeah. You know, back in back in high school and, and all of that. But no, I, I never would have dreamed that I'd, I'd, uh, I'd get to say, you know what, I'm a drug dealer and, uh, and have it be entirely legal and, and true. <laughs> well, you know. The drugs that you're selling, they'll help people a lot. It's not just all about getting high. You've got products for the recreation aspect of things, obviously. But then you've got other products that are for more for people's wellness, I guess. We do. We have a, a lot of functional wellness products. Um, and that's, that's, that's um, you know, aside from just making it accessible um, and providing education, which we really try to do a lot of, um, we're, we're really, you know, we're interested in exploring the plant and exploring the different use cases for the plant. And, of course, you know this. I mean, there's... There's hundreds of compounds within cannabis and we're, we're finding new ones every day and you know we're still learning more about the ones that we do know about um, and there's all kinds of wellness and 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 kind of benefit driven applications for this plant but you're but with hello mood you're capturing both sides of that market in the, in your commercials kind of hit on that too yeah. you know it's a how do you are you the creative on those or no no it? Well, so in a past life, I'm, I'm a creative at heart, right? I, you know, I'm, a, I'm in a past life. I was a copywriter and, and actually way back in the day, I was an actor in my early 20s. When I was 21, I moved to New York to become an actor. Um, but so I, I love creative and I participate heavily in the creative process and and I can certainly spot good creative and bad creative. So uh, it was um, I, I, I led the effort to find um, the creative agencies that we do partner with. Um, but uh, to this day, you know, a couple of weeks ago, I was in the writer's room. And we've got, you know five writers and they've, um, you know, we're working with, with one of our creative partners and they all write, you know, out in Hollywood for mainstream TV shows and, you know, or the director of our next commercial, he directed a bunch of workaholics uh, episodes. So, you know, they're real creatives and I get to be, I get to have a voice in that process, sure. which is, which is enjoyable. Yeah. The, uh, the, the actors look like they're real people. That's, I think when you can convey that message like that, it's just real easy to connect with. Uh, uh, you're spending quite a bit of money on advertising, I guess. We are. Um, my my lips are sealed as to the exact amount. Sure. Um, but yeah, we spend. We well, spend I'm, a you lot have to be because I see it everywhere. You know, it's a whether it's a YouTube or a social or uh, uh, the um, uh, banner ads. Uh, yeah. How would you figure the the how do you navigate the problems that most people have in that space? Um, you know, I'm actually really grateful for the problems that most people have in in, in this area um, because the more barriers, um, the the thinner the herd. Um, it's really just, it's a matter of trial and error and you figure stuff out and, uh, you know, you get knocked down and you get back up and you get knocked down and you get back up and you just, you know, you do that day in, day out, week in, week out. And, you know, then after, you know, a year and a half, you have things pretty well dialed in and in, 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 in a sustainable way, which is, um, 
you know, it's just, it's just one of many challenges. Sure, sure. Yeah. You know, I think that being able to connect with a more mature audience is what it appears your advertising's for. It's not for the under 30 crowd as much as it is for the over 30 crowd. Exactly. And, yeah. and I think that's a huge growing part of, uh, of cannabis use in today's time. Uh, both Pew and Gallup say between 70 and 80 percent of Americans think that adult use cannabis should be, be legal. Yeah. And, and so many people want to uh, try this now. You've created an opportunity as an easy way within their home. They don't have to go to a vape shop or a smoke shop or, uh, you know, uh, the corner <laughs> with the <laughs> telephone pole, which is where we all used to go, right? Yeah. You know, uh, for them to bring that product in and trying that. Absolutely. So. And that's and that's kind of our big bet. That's our, yeah. that's our central premise is um, the cannabis isn't just for, you know, kind of your stereotypical stoner types. And we love those people and, you know, we'll serve sure. them too. Um, but it's it's also for people that are just, you know, regular mom and dad or, you know, blue collar guy or, or you know, hell, you know, Mammy, who's, you know, in her, in her 70s and, you know, she likes drinking wine and, you know, she'd be open to trying cannabis if sure. she could get it legally. So that's that's our bet. Yeah. yeah. OK, we're going to, have to take a quick break to pay a few bills. We'll be right back. And I want to learn more about the diversity of your product line. Absolutely. Hang on, folks. Grunsau Foundation is a nonprofit organization dedicated to serving and supporting America's military community. With a focus on veteran and active duty service members, the Grunsau Foundation provides resources for mental and physical wellness, food insecurities, transition and sustainment, and veteran homelessness. Join Grunsau on their mission to give back to those who sacrifice so much for our country. Visit their website today at GrunstileFoundation.org to ensure no veteran is left behind. I just took a mood aroused gummy. No, I just took a mood bedtime gummy. No, how long does it take to kick in? Well, take care of myself. <laughs> Unlike what I'm about to do with my husband, mood is totally legal. Totally legal? Totally legal. With mood cannabis, we have more fun more often. Ooh la la. Ah, oh, mais oui. <gasps> Très bien. Mood is our sexy little secret. It ships discreetly right to our front door. Oh my gosh, it came! That's what she said. That was fast! <laughs> that is not what she said. This is Mary Jane. She's happy because she hired Canasite for her cannabis website and digital marketing campaigns. The last company she hired charged too much money, was extremely slow and held her website hostage. But Canasite built her website in five days flat and she didn't have to sign any long-term contracts. If you want to be happy with your cannabis digital marketing foundation, be like Mary Jane and hire Canasite. Welcome back, partakers. We're going to learn about the diverse product selection that you have available from Hello Mood. Here is the classic gummy, okay? Now tell us a little bit more besides gummies, what all y'all have got. Absolutely. So within gummies, we have, uh, we've have we got all sorts of different functional applications from Hero Dose to Sleepy Time, and we're making more for uh, benefits around uh, menopause or menstrual relief, testosterone enhancing, um, all, all, of, all these different functional applications with THC. Um, and then otherwise, we have great flour. We have a, a wide and growing selection of flour, everything from economy to premium to top shelf flour. Um, we have a great vape line as well. We sell concentrates. And I hear that you particularly are a big fan of our Afghan hash. Yeah, that, you know, it brought back memories of uh, my, my, my younger days. Uh, I lived near an Air Force base, and it was pretty common that the airmen there would have some uh, Afghani or Lebanon hash. Did they, did they bring it back with them? Yeah, they brought it back oh, back wow. then, you know. So, yeah. uh, and we'd take a needle and stick it through a piece of cardboard and put the little hash on there, take a glass over it and, you know, do that. Yeah. And when I saw that, I thought, Okay, I at least I at least got to try that. And folks, you know, you've heard me say this before. I typically order from somebody um, uh, incognito. I don't say, "Hey, I'm J Man. I want to order your product, and I got Weed and Whiskey TV," because I want to see how quickly it gets delivered, how it's packaged, what that product looks like, and everything. And I got to tell you, the four orders that I've placed with Hello Mood in the last month, month and a half or so. They come so um, ex, ex, I can't say that big word super fast. <laughs> Expeditious. Expeditious. Yeah. You told me earlier 
that you have a goal that try to get products out within 24 hours? Is that right? We, we have an SLA, a service level agreement, where 95% of all orders that come in must leave our warehouse within 24 hours. Um, that extra 5%, it, it can be anything from, well, our team is, is really good, but mistakes sometimes happen. So that 5% can be mistakes, but more often than not, it's something like an address correction. Um, or a hold for fraud where we have to contact the customer and ensure that they are indeed the ones placing the orders. But by and large, you place an order with Mood, we're going to get it out the door within 24 hours. And and it comes packaged nicely. Uh, it's got a, uh, had a piece of paper here. It's got a piece of paper in there in case it gets intercepted. It, it makes everybody understand that this is a legal product. Um, the um, uh, thing that I think is so amazing is how quickly it got here. You're using USPS to send this too, right? We do. Uh, USPS has a carve out for the shipment of lawful hemp products. Um, so we do include that uh, that disclosure form, which you mentioned, which, right. which outlines it's, it's the exact statute, the letter of the law, so that, um, you know, for whatever reason, if a package gets inspected or if it gets opened, it's all, it's all right there, clear as day. And, you know, that happens pretty rarely. Right. We, right. we, we, uh, we, you know, if a, if a, if a package contains items that are going to, that are going to stink or smell, uh, we do vacuum seal it, um, for extra discretion. Um, but you know, every now and then, you know, a package will get open and we'll get contacted by the USPS and they say, hey, just FYI, you know, we opened your package, we're sending it on, but heads up, you know, it's going to take an extra day or two. Right. Right. So that, that does happen. Yeah. Now earlier you mentioned SLA service level agreement. Is that within your team or is that with the manufacturers that provide oh, no, the, that, so you're making yeah. some of this and you get some from other sources? Is yes. that? Yeah. So, well, so inventory and product sourcing, that's, that's all a separate, a separate department within our company. Um, but then in terms of distribution internally, um, that's, uh, we use a system called OKRs, objectives and key results. And these are, so you know, the way it'll work is, um, and we, we kind of, we function as a pretty modern company. So we'll have uh, company-wide OKRs and then different departments, whether it's uh, distribution or inventory, customer support, marketing, et cetera. Um, everyone will have their own OKRs for their departments, which, which support and feed into the company OKR. Um, and housed within distributions OKRs are uh, SLAs, such as 95% uh, of the orders that come in leave the warehouse within 24 hours. So... David, uh, you have a partner, I think, in this business, right? I do, yeah, uh, Jake. Yeah. Jake, it was his. He was a guy in Canada. It was I his guess, idea. Right? Yes, yeah. I was the initial naysayer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I think uh, with the smile I see on your face, you're happy with the progress, obviously, that that you've made uh, in such a short period of time, less than two years, and the amount of people that you're employing. We want to learn about your growth, what's going on in 2024, and in the future when we come back. One more quick break, and we'll be right back with David Charles. Hey, good news. We're doing round two of Comedy Fantasy Camp. I'll be there. Jay Leno's coming back. John Lovitz, Caroline Ray, Trevor Wallace, and many, many more. February 29th through March the 3rd. And this time, we're all getting down at the world-famous comedy store. So, this will sell out as the last one did. So, get going and get going now. And go to adamcrolla.com and get your tickets. This man has a buzz for himself and for four of his friends. He also has a five left out of a 10. Five gummies, five bucks. That's Buck a Buzz. Ask for him at a store near you. Buck a Buzz. Visit buckabuzz.com. Welcome back, partakers. We got a few minutes left here with David uh, Charles, and he's going to tell us what Hello Moods got in store for 2024 and beyond. Absolutely. So, uh, we are expanding our product line. We are uh, going forth with a very comprehensive and, and, and personalized uh, way of buying flour. So I, I briefly mentioned we have the three grades, economy, premium, and top shelf. We're building out to have uh, one mood of each mood we sell within each of the three categories. And then we're going into two potency levels. So at the end of the day, you're going to be able to come into our website, our new website, which is launching in about four weeks. That's another big new thing. Um, and uh, you'll be able to pick exactly what kind of uh, cannabis, or what kind of flower you want that's gonna make you feel a certain way, uh, what price point and what potency you want. Uh, so we're doing you know, additional, um, additional build out to, to further customize the cannabis buying experience. Right, right. We're bringing on all these uh, functional SKUs 
Uh, we're launching in wholesale. In fact, uh, we just went live with our, our first uh, retail account that's about uh, 30, minutes, 30, 30 minutes up the freeway in Frisco. Uh -huh. We went live with that last week. They've already sold out. And uh, so we're going to be expanding into wholesale. And otherwise, but really primarily, we're going to be hyper-focused on doing what we do best, which is rapid scaling our e-commerce. Um, so I, I mentioned we're, we're north of $100 million run rate as of today. And we plan to somewhere between 2 and 3x that over the coming 12 months. Excellent, excellent. And I think that's certainly obtainable with the way your trajectory is going right now, for sure. Now, you, you mentioned uh, you were going into to wholesale to, to retailers. I suspect that came uh, uh, about from all of your advertising and people going into stores and saying, hey, you got that Hello Moon Egg, stuff? That's exactly it. Uh, I, I've got a buddy, and, and he was in a vape store, and, and he was hanging out for about an hour. And, and uh, over the course of that hour, he saw three different groups of people come in, and they said, hey, I, I've seen this thing online. It's, it's uh, weed that you can buy by the mood. It's like mood weed or something. You guys sell that? And he thought, you know, light bulb moment. We're creating all this uncaptured value. Um, so uh, that guy, Chris, he's standing up our wholesale program going around and, and you know, we're, we're, we're taking the pulse. Uh, but, you know, like I said, initial signs are strong. So we believe that uh, we believe that there's a wholesale blitz in our future. Sure, sure. Yeah. Well, the, 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 the speed in which you deliver certainly makes that easier for people. But there is that impulse aspect of thing that we're going into a store. And so you can kind of capture on that also. So now I got to ask, hello, mood. You, Jake, a, a branding company. How'd you get the name? Um, or is well, that proprietary? No, it's it's not. <laughs> um, I've got a buddy down in Austin, uh, Branding Pat, and and Branding Pat is is one of the senior creatives at a company called Upwork, and he is just a brilliant branding mind. You know, previously was a brander at Apple and Uber, and you know was a global president of brands at Harley Davidson, and uh, I said, Pat, let's have a barbecue. I got to talk to you, and so Pat and I over a couple of beers and some brisket. We started thinking, you know, what is what is the right name for a weed company that that um, is kind of imbued with this this desire for alchemy, where it's you know going beyond just indica and sativa, and it's really making things accessible, but it's still it's still fun and it's still playful. And we went through you know an afternoon of you know just two guys talking, and mood is what came out of it. How about that? Yeah. You know, it's it's it certainly certainly worked well for you with that, and uh, people are connecting with that because it is cannabis is a mood enhancer, a jester. Uh, there's so many different uses that people have for the plant. And I think as if we could ever get to federal legalization, the amount of research that would be done on the plant. I mean, we millions of dollars are being spent now. It used to be thousands, hundreds yeah, of thousands. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, it used right. to be none, right? Yeah. And so, you know, as, 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 as people have become more um, relaxed and worried, not worried about going to jail or the company getting shut down, uh, we're finding more and more uses and benefits for this. I suspect somebody like you's got a research team that are looking at these different modalities of ingestation. Absolutely. Well, that was big for me, wasn't it, folks? Modalities of ingestation. <laughs> ingestation. What it was? Ingest, uh, ingest. Do you have any of those uh, sublingual things yet? Uh, no, we don't do uh, we don't do any sublingual. Um, uh, let's see, what's the closest? To... Well, you had something on your on your website when I placed my last order. It was sold out. I was a little disappointed because uh, I wanted to try those particular gummies. Uh, you no. can go ahead and look at your camera here and tell them what those gummies are for. Sexual euphoria gummies, and uh, we have spent. A year in R and D testing different exotic nutraceuticals and probiotics and different compounds, all of which are are, are legal and 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 we're researching and di diving into the clinicals to ensure that they're safe and developing a gummy that's THC plus a a very uh, oh shall we say uh, libidinous blend of nutraceuticals um, that will turn on both men and women to have better sex more often. How about that, folks? Gummy to enjoy uh, your mood yeah, for sure. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for coming on the show today and sharing your remarkable journey and unique insight with our partakers. Thank you, folks, for watching us each week and growing our tribe. Coming up in a few weeks, we have Antonio Swad, Loca Pandya, and Canify. Please visit my website, imjman.com, to see my upcoming tour schedule and to learn how we can help your brand get noticed, remembered, and engaged. Have a great weekend. Weed and Whiskey News. News with a twist.